Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Your med school bestie, Dr. Hasna over here to help all of you out there. It was my promise to especially the IMGs, the ones that are similar path as me in the UK, trying to get into the NHS, which we all know quite have an insight on it, that it is saturated. For all of those doctors out there, this video is for you because ignore my messy look, but I just came back from my clinical attachment. No, I'm not employed in the NHS yet. However, I do want to share a couple of things with you and I want to motivate all of you from what I'm learning these days. But the final verdict will be after my clinical attachment. For now, however, whatever I've gathered from what I'm doing these days, I really want to give you guys, you know, a little bit of a chat around that. So guys, first things first, all the IMGs out there, stop feeling hopeless. See, now you're in the plat pathway. There's nothing you can do. It is a fact that it's saturated, but don't lose hope. Now, let me explain it to you. So today I actually had an encounter with one of you guys, which was one of the people that were watching my YouTube videos. They just came up to me and they're like, hi, I watch your videos. And I'm also doing a clinical attachment here, but you know, unlucky us, we didn't get a job here. So when I heard that, I was just like, listen, no, don't say that. Do your best. Because at the end of the day, I mean, we can look at a situation in a very, negative light or maybe we can make the best of what we have so right now if i'm being very honest with you the background i don't know how much you guys can see but honey trust me it's uh, miserable where i'm living the accommodation is a little messed up i am going to change soon but even finding accommodation is a struggle so if i'm being completely honest with you i am struggling these days but when i go walk, walk into those doors through the emergency department i know i'm doing something that is hopefully going to be worth it at the end once again the final verdict will be after my clinical attachment but for now first couple of days i'm enjoying it a lot that maybe the accommodation isn't even bothering me that much and also i've kept a mindset that i need to make the most of what i have i'm not going to complain about things right i cannot even begin to tell you how much of a weird situation i'm in terms of accommodation wise not otherwise just hearing what that girl said and you know i just want to like give you guys an insider on what's going on inside there right so i met a bunch of consultants and i am interviewing them just for you guys so that i can whatever i gather this was my promise to a lot of imgs out there that i will come back I will guide you once I understand things. So for now, I have started to get an insight on what's happening in there. And I want to guide you on what I've understood from now. And then I'll give you an insight out there, like after that. Right? I understand that you probably like clinical attachment don't even matter anymore. Yes, there's that view. But if you look at it from my perspective, honey, you are lucky you have a clinical att attachment. Why? Because honey, you're getting a chance to prove yourself to the people that have to employ you. And I assure you that physical presence means 10 times. It's 10 times greater and more influential than just a simple CV that they read of you when you're not there. So how can you, anyone say that clinical attachment does not count? Even I, I'll be very honest, it won't directly may, might not give you a job, but it can definitely be a good contributor towards it. Yes, it does not make the CV look fancy, no. But honey, the exposure I'm getting right now, I'm realizing that this is brilliant. Even this is amazing. Like the fact that I'm getting to know how NHS works, what are these systems? I'm having an idea of them. I'm not gonna be completely clueless if I even had to start a job here and not just that. But, you know, I'm getting an idea of where I'm, what I'm getting into. What if I don't like the NHS? What if I'm like, why the hell am I even trying hard? But the fact that I'm going is making me feel like, okay, I don't mind waiting because this is definitely worth it. So my point over here, guys, is that you can bring two people doing clinical attachment, okay? Firstly, feel lucky because getting attachment in the first place is also becoming difficult day by day. So if you even if you get that, make the most of it. This is my biggest message to you. So interact with consultants, talk to them, make colleagues, your friends, make, ask people questions. You know, I'll be very honest. The best part about NHS is that everyone's just sitting there to answer your question. Not exactly like that. They're just very nice people, very welcoming people. And when once you walk in there, you will not feel like, you know, you're some alien type of a person, you know, who's desperate to get a hand on that job. Okay, so don't worry. Everyone will treat you like, you know, you're, you're one of their team and you're a good person. And most importantly, if you compare two paths, one person that's doing their attachment, like, you know, I'm going to do this. I'm going to make the most of it. And then you have this one person that's like, no point of doing clinical attachments anymore. There's no point. There's saturation. Doing the clinical attachment myself and actually looking at it that way. For instance, I was a consultant here and I'm seeing two people. One is highly energetic, showing me what they do. And then I have another person that's completely like, hmm, you know, just low key there. Just the fact that, okay, I'm doing a clinical attachment. This is not going to benefit me at all. Who do you think will stand out? 
as a consultant i'll be like this girl was good now let's doesn't matter she probably won't get a job by just that but one day maybe when they're hiring recruit like the recruiting people and randomly she goes like okay everybody sucks so randomly gets a glimpse of that really highly energetic person and they're like hmm let's try that person oh her cv is also in we can think of her we might shortlist her for interview because she did have a spark or he did have something in him that was quite unique so how like i'm telling you guys even maybe the situation that i just created might not even be a possibility okay i promise you though one thing that i have learned by going in there every single day is physical presence matters not just for them but for you as well the more you're there the more you'll be motivated to get in and the more you will work harder and the lesser that those uh, 20 million tweets 50 million fb group notifications will stop bothering you so here's a message i am just listen in life there's going to be struggle life will life with you and it is lifing as much with me as much as it is with you final verdict will be after the clinical attachment if i do get the job however through the clinical attachment i'll be able to tell you only after that but if i am able to i will try my best i will be that experimental animal and i'll see if it works you guys need to pray for me and if i do secure something once i have it trust me this i'm not going anywhere i will be your mentor your guiding light and everything just one last message at the end please stay positive i know that it is very highly pressurized and you know it's depressing or the whole situation but if you're going to treat it as you can look at a situation it's up to you like you can be miserable about it or you can just make the most of your situation you have those two pathways uh, depends on do you want to stay sad and go through that pathway or do you want to stay motivated and go through that path? that's all i wanted to deliver that little message out there for you and the more i get to know about you know i've interviewed many consultants i've interviewed with you like random yeah people like I, i'm trying to socialize with everyone if it works out it works out you know and i will help you i just need prayers from all of you i'm also through that struggling doctor phase i do not want to show you anything uh, beautiful that my life is so amazing that i'm getting job easily i'm you know i'm not so I, honey it's the truth i'm also suffering as much as you are but the thing is that i'm in the struggle right now and who better to understand your struggle than i do so it's okay honey we all are going to get there Let's manifest it. Keep remember me in your prayers and thank you so much for watching this YouTube video.